Hi, I'm Carol. And I'm Dave. Welcome to the new Georgia Room at the Salt Table. You know, a lot of people come into our store and they ask us, you know, tell us about this salt. And so we, we like to talk about the salt in a lot of different ways, but the first thing that we tell people is it's about 200 million years old. It comes out of the base of the Himalayan mountains. You can see that there's different colorations in the salt, and the, the colors come from the trace minerals. 84 trace minerals are in the salt. Uh, primarily, iron oxide is what gives it that pink color. Right, and that's good for you. A lot of other minerals in here, and this is a great way to, to cook your food or use that as a cutting board. Those are the two primary So yeah, uses. you can use it as a cutting board. You can put your food directly on here, and while you're cutting it, it'll season your food. You know, when you have a cutting board, you always kind of worry about the fact that it's gonna go bad. Well, you don't have to worry about your cutting board when it is salt. And you do wanna make sure that you keep it on a, another surface, not just directly on your counter, because remember, it is salt. So um, you wanna make sure that you protect your, your surface from, from any type of uh, potential corrosion. Many of our customers, they ask us, well, how long is this gonna last? Well, they last any length of time. The thinner ones obviously last a shorter period of time than the thick ones. But Carol and I have been using the same two. We have one in our oven, one on our countertop. We use one for cooking, one for cutting board. And that's essentially how we use them at home. The cutting board we use almost every day. And you can see a little bevel in it already uh, that develops over time because it chips away a little bit of the salt. But that's what seasons your food. So they're really excellent uh, products. You'll, you'll very versatile. Very, very versatile. versatile. And you can cut vegetables on it. We'll, we'll start as a cook, uh, cutting board. As a cutting board, you can cut uh, tomatoes, uh, melons, strawberries, cheese, uh, bread, anything that you would cut on a normal cutting board. And the, if it's a damp uh, thing like a cucumber or um, cheeses or uh, any other kind of a, a fruit or vegetable cheese, it will, it will actually infuse the salt into those products and you'll really enjoy them, particularly uh, fruits, they're amazing. Watermelons, strawberries, uh, melons, and so on. And the way salt works is it replaces moisture with salt. That's why it was the original preservative. That's how people preserve their food before refrigeration. So again, that, that little bit of salt will go into your foods and seasoning it, and then the moisture will dissolve the salt. So that's how, uh, over time, it will um, start to dissolve and erode, but again, it's totally consumable. So you can use it for many years and get a lot of enjoyment and a lot of salt out of that. People say, how do you care for it? Well, what we do at home is just use a damp cloth. Anything sticks to it, we just kind of scratch it off with the side of a spatula. Um, never put soap on it. That would just absolutely damage the block. You'd never want to use it again because salt uh, blocks do absorb the things that are on them as well. So what I like about the Himalayan salt is the purity of the salt, the clarity of the flavor. It's not processed, there's nothing added to it, it's not iodized, it's not stripped of its, its, in, uh, its minerals, it's all still right there for you. So nothing is, is added to it, nothing is taken away, it's just pure salt, uh, pure pink salt. That's right, it's the perfect uh, natural product. It's going to be around for thousands of years, and it has been around up until this point in time, literally 200 million years since... Uh, give or was, take a million. Yeah, give or take a million, that's right. Yeah, it, has, it has 84 trace minerals, as we mentioned earlier, and those trace minerals are good for you. They, they actually are the same minerals that are in supplements, vitamin supplements. You know, you want to buy good, healthy food, and you spend a lot of money buying good steaks, good chicken, good fish, uh, vegetables that you cook. So why in the world would you want to use anything less than the best salt on your food that you, you, you buy? Absolutely. Uh, thank you for visiting us in our Georgia room here at the Salt Table. And I'm Carol. And I'm Dave. And thanks for coming and get the most out of your salt.